Hey guys, it's the Music Commander Reviewer here, back with another video, and today we will be talking about a very hot topic, and that is how to get a LEGO Clone Trooper for cheap. More specifically, how to get a LEGO Captain Rex for cheap. Obviously, there are many different methods and many different ways you can go about getting a LEGO Captain Rex, but the thing is, most of them require you spend a large amount of money, anywhere from like 80 to 100 bucks, especially if you want the official LEGO minifigure, and that is a very steep price to pay for one minifigure, especially when you could be spending that money elsewhere, like on the new summer sets, such as the Razor Crest, or if you want to put them toward a bunch of Five of First Battle Packs, such as I'm doing. And you're, if you are getting a Five of First Battle Pack, especially, you're going to want a Captain Rex to lead your Five of First into battle. So, obviously, you're going to want to try to find one for the cheapest possible price. And this video will not only be covering the cheapest possible price you can get at LEGO Captain Rex, but it'll be covering all the different ways you can get a lego captain rex going from least expensive to most expensive so obviously the least expensive is going to be the way that most people go and yeah so and it's one that i'm very excited to talk about because not a lot of people know about it so yeah let's get right into it so definitely the cheapest way to get a lego captain rex is through av figures if you were unfamiliar of what av figures is and what they sell they're basically a site known for selling decal clones they are very they're a very reputable site and I highly recommend them. If you're going to buy decals from anywhere, it's definitely through them. They are very very good. Basically, they ship you out a decal sheet and the decals you have to cut out yourself and apply. There's a whole tutorial by AV Figures on how to do that. Go check it out. I'll leave it in the description. But buying decals is something that I do recommend. It they're very cheap. They they only go for like a dollar and 97 cents or something like that. But in order to decal, you will need a plain white torso, blank white uh plain white legs as well as a plain white arms and a plain white phase 2 helmet. The phase 2 helmet being the hardest thing to buy. You could buy them through AV Figures, but they're usually sold out. What I recommend doing is if you have a phase two helmet and if you don't really care about the character that that helmet represents, you can erase the printing using literally a pencil eraser. Same with the torso and arms and all the other parts. You could just erase the printing and then you'll have a plain white base to decal on. But the thing about decaling is that it is very hard to master it, but easy to learn. So I recommend if buying a couple test sets, I recommend probably buying like two or three decal sheets because it takes a while to fully get the hang of it and your first couple won't look that great and you you'll probably will mess up so having extra decal sheets are is very very helpful especially when they only cost like a dollar 97 so it's a method that i highly recommend but it also takes a lot of time and effort and if you are buying decals i also recommend buying sealant so you can seal your decals over and so they don't fall off and the figure lasts over time but yeah i definitely recommend this method the thing is it just takes a lot of work our next method will include decals and printed elements and this is the route i went and it definitely paid off so let's move right into that so this method also includes av figures as well as another website which we'll get into later but this method, in my opinion, is the best method, and it results in the best looking Captain Rex. And it is also extremely, extremely cheap. It's about 12 bucks. So basically, you're gonna wanna follow my steps exactly. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to AV Figures website, and then you're gonna wanna go to, if you're looking for a Captain Rex, that is, and then go to the 501st Legion tab, and then you are going to want to cap tap on Captain Rex, obviously. And then you're going to want to buy two decal sheets, right? Because if you mess up on one, then you are going to need another. So that is what I recommend doing. Take it at your own risk. If you only buy one, you only buy one. But I recommend buying two. So the only things that you will be decaling in using this method are the body and the legs. And these are the easiest things that you could decal. The other elements, such as the arms and the helmet, are extremely hard to decal, which is why this other site will come in handy after. But there is one more thing that you will need to buy from AV Figures, and that is the cloth capes. So you will need to go to, so just click on the cloth items tab, and then select name clones cloth. And of course, you are gonna wanna select Captain Rex. When you order it, it comes with this like felt sheet and you kind of have to cut out the decals. It really isn't that hard. The only thing that you really need is a, a hole puncher and some scissors. The hole puncher being for the holes that 
allow it to go on the minifigure's neck because those unfortunately are not cut out and that price is only is only about seven bucks so it will be a little more than but that is with the second decal sheet i highly recommend getting a second one in case you mess up but take that at your own risk okay so next you are going to want to go to firestar toys and uh you are going to want to buy a you are going to want to look up captain rex and you are going to want to buy this Captain Rex helmet right here from Clone Army Customs. The reason why I recommend this is because decaling a clone helmet is very, very hard. And having a P2 clone helmet to decal in the first place is very difficult. And if you do happen to have a P2 clone helmet, it's most likely already on a clone trooper that you care about. So it's easier to just buy a printed helmet because number one, decaling a helmet is very, very hard. And number two, because you might not have a P2 clone helmet lying around that you could decal and this is only about five bucks so very very cheap and uh so that's like five dollars right there and then you're going to want to go back and the second thing that you want to will want to buy is the the captain rex printed arms because decaling arms is a pain in the butt and if you could buy printed arms for two dollars why not so that is that is uh really they are really good quality i have them myself and um then the next thing that you are going to want to buy is the brick arms dc 17 pistol of course this is optional you could just put your own pistols on captain rex but i highly recommend buying these because they look really really good so you will want to add one uh you will want to add two of them to the cart actually add two of them because captain rex has two pistols unfortunately they are not packed together i don't know why that is but anyway your cart should only be about twelve dollars plus shipping and then the and then you're spending another seven dollars at another like seven eight dollars at av figures so that's that's still a pretty cheap price for a captain rex considering that the official lego one could go upwards to like 80 and uh, to 100 dollars. so for getting it at 19 dollars, it isn't really that expensive at all and I'd say it's definitely, definitely worth it. But there is another method that you could use on Firestar Toys if decals aren't for you. As you can see, the decals from AV figures and the printed parts from Firestar Toys work together to make a really, really good looking figure. And I think it's something that you'll be extremely happy with. And it's something that really stands out in your Lego collection. And I really, really highly recommend this method above anything else. So yeah, I really, really like this figure. So if you want to save yourself the hassle of decaling, probably the best solution for you would be to just order all printed parts. And if you haven't noticed already, on Firestar Toys, they have the official LEGO Captain Max Rex minifigure torso for $7. And they also have the legs somewhere on here as well for like 3 bucks. By the time that you get all the printed elements that you'll need, such as the arms, the torso, the legs, the blasters, the helmet, it's in the antenna it's basically around thirty dollars so the best option for you if you want to buy a printed captain rex for still relatively cheap the best option for you will be to buy the fully printed captain rex custom minifigure because by the time you buy all the other parts and the pauldrons and stuff it'll basically be around thirty dollars so you might as well save yourself the hassle of ordering them all separately and you might as well just buy this fully custom this fully printed captain rex minifigure which is really great it uses the official lego torso the firestar arms firestar legs that means they custom print them themselves and uh it uses brick arm blasters as well as area lights helmet which is which is currently sold out on their website separately the area light helmet is actually what i got for my captain rex and is what i would recommend that you'd buy but it's sold out right now the clone army customs helmet is a good substitute but anyway that's another option you can use for buying a lego captain rex i forgot to mention this and just like clone army customs firestar prints on completely official lego parts so i just thought that was important and you needed to know that so another way you can use firestar to your advantage is if you want to buy a if you want to buy the official lego captain rex minifigure and in that case i fully recommend that you part out the figure meaning that you buy the different elements so what you should do is buy the the captain rex torso on firestar toys and you buy all the other elements on bricklink used because it'll be much cheaper obviously make sure the use condition is good or else it, like if you choose use condition and then you click bad it'll kind of be a 50 50 chance if the if the condition is even worth using so it'll probably save you about thirty dollars as opposed to if 
you were going to buy just the fully if you were about to if you were going to buy the full figure altogether so yeah so this option is pretty much for the people that want an official lego captain rex no decaling no buying custom parts no buying parts of the minifigure and splitting it up the best in if you want to buy a fully complete lego captain rex the and if you want to buy it for the cheapest possible price the best way for you would probably be to bid on ebay so you want to find a complete lego captain rex which could be very hard like currently now there's only one and it's for 65 dollars which i guess is very it, i guess is a lot cheaper than 95 dollars so you could bid on that and you could possibly win it but the thing is about bidding you're definitely not guaranteed to get it and other people could outbid you and they could drive the price through the roof so it's very much a gamble when you bid on stuff on ebay especially lego but if you could find a really good deal on ebay and if you find an auction that happens to work out and you're on ebay at that exact time and it's about to run out and you bid on it at the last second and you get it this could be a great option for you but if you want if you really want to make sure that you get an official lego captain rex then you're going to want to use bricklink which we'll talk about in a sec so if you are really dead set on getting an official lego captain rex and you want to be guaranteed to buy it and just buy it from one seller and get it immediately without worrying about the hassle of bidding decaling buying from other sellers buying custom printed parts this is definitely the option for you though it it could be quite expensive this is probably the cheapest that you'll find one for like 37 dollars and this as you can see it says the figure it has a scratch on the left eyebrow and it doesn't include the pauldron the pauldron or the waist cape it's definitely pretty expensive especially if you wanted to buy a new one and the cheapest you could buy a new one is like 95 dollars i came across it before there it is 97 bucks there's probably one there's one for 95 and that one is not actually in my country if it's in your country i guess that's great because it's the cheapest possible price you could buy a new one but it's still 95 dollars is a lot for one single figure and this is the option that it's not going to work for a lot of people but for certain people that have the money and that are willing to spend a hundred bucks on a an official lego minifigure go for it and i'm happy for you that you'll be able to get a minifigure that you want but this just isn't the option for me and it's not the option for most people so take that with a grain of salt i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope this video helped you in some way and i hope this made you realize that there are many different methods and many different ways that you can go about getting a lego captain rex than originally meets the eye let me know in the comments down below if you decide to use any of these methods and if you could it would be a huge help to the channel if you would like and subscribe Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.